Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. If you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications and let's get started. Now, this is a number theory problem because we are looking for positive integer solutions and we have four variables, okay? So, how do we approach these problems? We had a video on Diophantine equations, remember there are several ways to approach it. But with Diophantine systems, it's a little different because first of all, you have to simplify this and possibly come up with a single equation that you can work out. Okay, cool. Now, here's what we're gonna do. And again, there are many approaches, but factoring is definitely one of the methods that we use. And here, in order to be able to have a better idea, we're gonna go ahead and add these equations up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these side by side, and that's gonna give me x plus y plus z plus w is equal to xy plus zw, okay? So I'm getting a sum on the left-hand side and a product on the right-hand side. This should probably remind you something, at least if you totally forget about the z and w at this point, and just focus on x and y, what does that look like? x, y is equal to x plus y. Doesn't that look like Simon? It should. Well, we talked about Simon as well before, but there were some problem systems that we solved using Simon, and this kind of looks like that one. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the x, y terms together. So let's go ahead and subtract everything from the left-hand side, on the left-hand side from the right-hand side, so that it looks like this xy minus x minus y plus zw minus z minus w and then everything equals zero. All right, so now in order to be able to make this factorable, as you know, we're gonna factor out the x here, so it's gonna give us x times y minus one, and here, this is what I'm talking about, x times y minus one, but then you're gonna get negative one times y minus one, so you definitely need to add one to this, so we're gonna add one, and we've done this before with the positive case, I think. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. So I'm gonna add, basically I'm adding two to both sides, so you can safely say that the right-hand side is gonna be two. Now what is so cool about this is that now you're getting factorable expressions. And that's gonna look like, let's see how this look, uh, how can this could be simplified. You can go ahead and write it as x times the quantity y minus one, minus one times the quantity y minus one, and then something similar here, uh, plus z times the quantity w minus one, and minus one times w minus one. Okay, cool. Now it's not completely factorable, but you're basically gonna be getting two things that are added, which will make a solution easier. So this gives us x minus one times the quantity y minus one plus the quantity z minus one multiplied by the quantity w minus one. And the sum is equal to two. Sum is equal to two. So what did we say about this? Okay, we were looking for positive integer solutions. If we say all integers, then there's gonna be a lot of solutions and we're not gonna get into those, but we're gonna keep it to the positives so that we get a lim limited number. So we do have a sum of two and notice that we have x minus one times y minus one. So since x and y are integers, especially they're positive integers, the product is a positive integer, or the product is at least an integer, we can safely say that. And z minus one and w minus one, that product is also an integer. So you're adding two integers and they have to be positive integers and their sum is two, okay? How is that possible? Well, it's possible if you set this equal to 1 and you set this equal to 1 or if one of them is 2 the other one is 0 or the first one is 0 and the other one is 2. Now didn't you say that positive solutions? Yes we didn't say the products cannot be 0 because they can be when these variables are positive. For example if you consider the case where z minus 1 times w minus 1 is equal to 0 that implies either z equals 1 or w equals 1. Okay? Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, you, we're going to be looking at each case basically separately. So, for example, let me show you a couple of them, and I'm just going to write all the ordered quadruples as a solution. So, for example, if you say that, okay, I'm just going to assume that x minus 1 times y minus 1 is equal to 1, which implies that, which implies that z minus 1 and w minus 1 also 
multiply to one, okay? Now, how, how can you get one from a product like this? Well, either you're gonna have to multiply one times one or negative one times negative one. But in order for this to be negative one, you would have to use x equals zero, but you can't use zero because we're looking for positive integer solutions. Therefore, you're only gonna go with the positive ones. For example, this should give you x minus one is equal to one, y minus one is equal to one, z minus one is equal to one, and w minus one is equal to, did I say two? That should be a one, okay. So basically from here, uh, if we're looking for ordered quadruples in this form like x, y, z, w, let's say our solutions are gonna look like this, then we're basically getting two comma, two comma, two comma two as a solution. But of course, this is not the only solution because uh, this can be zero, which means x can be one, uh, so on and so forth. Basically, that should give us eight quadruples, ordered quadruples, and those quadruples are going to look like uh, three, two, five, one, okay? And then the other one is gonna be like two, three, five, one. So basically, you can kind of rotate this a little bit, and then we'll get three, two, one, five, we'll get two, three, one, five, we'll get one, five, three, two, and then we should be getting five, one, three, two, and then we have one more, five, one, and two, three. Of course, you add the two, 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 and then you're gonna get all the solutions, okay? So basically, this is going to be our solution set, and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, take care, be safe, and bye-bye.